Hello everyone. Welcome to the PictoBlox machine learning environment tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about pose classification. It is one of the machine learning model types which can be trained in PictoBlox. Pose classification works by analyzing your position with the help of 17 data points. You can map different poses to various classes and use them to execute actions. In this project, we will make a posture detector. Toby will correct you if it detects you are slouching. We will need two classes for the same, upright and slouching. Let's get started. Open PictoBlox and select the Python coding environment. Go to the machine learning environment by selecting the open ML environment option under the files tab. Click on the create new project option to initialize your project. Type an appropriate project name and select the pose classifier as the model type. Click the create project button to see the pose classifier window. When you are greeted with the pose classifier window, you will see two classes, class 1 and class 2 made for you by default. Edit the first class name to upright. There are three ways you can add data to your project. Using your device webcam to click email samples using the upload button to upload images from your device or by using the upload classes from folder button to import an entire data set. For this example, we will be taking the images from the camera. Once you open the camera, you shall see the data points line up with your posture. If the data points do not line up, the classifier will not take inputs. Sit upright and capture the samples. You need at least 20 samples for the model to train. For this example, take around 200 samples for each class. If you want to delete a sample, hover over it and click the delete button. Rename class 2 as slouching and take samples from the webcam with you in a slouching posture. As a thumb rule, you should try to add an equal number of samples in every class. Large variations in data can be a problem while training the model. Training is where the classifier extracts the features from the samples and trains the model to recognize the poses in the classes. The goal is to come up with a model that can classify unseen samples as per the defined class. Use the advanced tab to alter the hyperparameters of the model. In post classifier, you can play around with epochs, batch size and learning rate. Do note that learning rate is an extremely sensitive hyperparameter and can greatly affect the performance of your model. PictoBlox gives you the option to train the post classification in both JavaScript and Python. Just flick the switch on top of the training box to cycle between the two. Training the model might take some time. Keep a check on the accuracy graph while training is done. You can view a comprehensive report of your model performance in the train report. The train report consists of the accuracy and loss curve of the model, the confusion matrix of the model, the true positives, false negatives and false positives for each class. Once training is complete, it's time to test our model on alien data. The model trains itself on the samples we provide. But a model is only useful if it can classify alien data just as well as it classifies the training data. This is where model testing comes into play. You can test the images here. Much like training, testing can be done either by a device's webcam or by uploading data from your device. Start the camera and test your model. Click on the export model button on the top right of the testing box and PictoBlox will load your model into the Python coding environment. Observe how we have the boilerplate code for the classifier in the Python environment. Now go to the extensions tab and add the human body detection extension to the project. Now it's time to define Toby as the sprite for this project. To make Toby react to your posture, we will be using conditional statements. Add an if statement for the class upright and a say statement as shown. Add an elif statement for the slouching class and add a corresponding say statement. The script is now complete. Click on the run button to see it in action. 
There you have it, a posture classifier in Python coding.